So thank you so much for joining me today for the Path of Ascension Humility, Disciple of Humility with Clea. We, of course, will be doing Thantrioch. So we come over here to Thantrioch, come down here to Humility. Of course, I've already chosen Clea. And for this, we're going to be taking the Deep Echo Trident. So you just come over here, choose Deep Echo Trident. Now, the way Thantrioch works is he is anchored in the center there. The thing is you don't want to get too close is he does do melee damage, and it's a lot of melee damage. Luckily with Clea, you can kind of stand back from a range with your Ascended Strike outside of his melee range and just have to worry about his spell damage. So for this, since he's anchored there, he has four phylacteries around him. Each contains an ability. So you have to destroy one of these to remove his shield. It makes him take 20% more damage while that is destroyed for about 20 to 25 seconds, and you want to DPS him during that. The closest one here will be Terminal Destruction, which is a kind of a longer cast, but it does a ton of damage if it hits you. You have Greater Necrotic, which, of course, is just a regular Necrotic Bolt. It doesn't do nearly as much damage as Terminal or as Word of Suffering, which is a dot, which will come from this one. You want to interrupt that 100% for sure, and this one definitely 200%. So if you have a priority, interrupt this first, that first, then that, and this can't be interrupted. But this one's Death Blossom. What will happen there is he will spawn a circle kind of where he's standing. There is a safe zone slightly beneath him. It is unsafe to go for it. I would not recommend it unless you've heavily practiced it on the PTR. But from there, he'll summon circles that go in outwards around him. It is a wall, so trying to jump it, trying to do anything to go over it, do not. It will still hit you. And there are safe spots that you can pass through. During that, you can cleanly DPS him at a safe range while also not getting hit by it. So for this, of course, we will be hitting him with Ascended Strike. We'll keep Keen inside up so that way we can retali retaliate against attacks. And then we'll do Leap of Faith uh, if we have to. We can use that to move more freely between the phylacteries and to him. And we can also use it to get to a safe spot if we can during Death Blossom. Once again, do not jump over Death Blossom. Try to angle it so that way you go around Death Blossom. And then, of course, once we have Archon's Blessing, We'll, of course, be spamming uh, Ascended Strike, but we're going to use our Keen Insight on one of his phylacteries just to blow it up, so that way we get an extra 10% crit during that. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to ring the bell, just like me, do the same, and then also leave a like, leave a comment, feel free to subscribe or follow me, whether you're watching on YouTube or Twitch. On Twitch, you can find me under the underscore dab 86. And for this, we will be doing the fight, um, starting with the Greater Necrotic, then Death Blossom, then Word of Suffering, and last but least, Terminal Destruction. We are going to go ahead and use the, the punching bag here to generate more energy. So we'll start off with Archon's Blessing. And of course, we do have Charm of Persistence and Charm of Focus up. So we're using both of those here. We better get it this time. <laughs> it's five o'clock. I really don't feel like it's helping me generate any more. Like, maybe it is, I'm just not noticing it. Okay, let's get this party started. So now we're going to come over here to the phylactery. We're going to start off on it with our Archon's Blessing and blowing it up for extra crit. That was about 30% of his health. Those are some good placements. Should be one final cast here, I think.
Thank God. Too bad that wasn't the way I would have liked it to have gone. But we did manage to get him down in that. Thank you for that.